Well, it's better late than never, right? Hello again team, it's Jess or Jashikaran and welcome back for my week 28 plan with me. A little later than normal, but I'm still getting it up, so I think that counts for something. Today I'm going to be setting up in my bullet journal for July 6th through to July 12th. But before we get into that, as per usual, we're just going to have a look at how last week went. So I am pretty dang pleased to report that I actually did use this weekly spread. Since we went back to school after lockdown, my use of my planner has been a bit varied, so it was nice to have this first week in my new planner pretty much completely filled in. I didn't really make use of the notes section, but I did write down notes in other places, so I'm hoping for this week, if I include a notes section, I'm actually going to use it. Very much still enjoying my science theme, and I'll be sticking with that one today. So flipping over, just a reminder that any of the equipment I use in today's setup is linked in the description box below. For this weekly setup, I decided to have my decoration run along the middle of the page horizontally. While last week I had Adams as my decoration, for this week I decided to do the stages of cell division, so mitosis. From first touch of the pen to final erasings, this layout took about 20 minutes. But of course that doesn't include coming up with the idea and penciling it out, so probably closer to 25. In terms of the questions that were left on our last weekly plan with me, our first one comes from Anita, who asked, Do you have any pets, or have you had any? Do you think you might get one one day, and what would it be? So I've previously had several pets, though that was something like 12 years ago now. Most notably, I used to have a dog called Max, or Maximilian. He was a total cutie, he was a Jack Russell Pomeranian cross, and I just think he looked like a baby dingo. I for a short time had a pet Yabby, I also used to have a little pet Scorpion. When I was much much younger I had a cat called Spot, but Spot ran away. I've previously had fish, at our house in Australia we had an old bathtub which we converted into a pond so we had fish that lived in there. In terms of nowadays though, at the moment I don't have any pets. And I'm kind of okay with that, I don't like the idea of another living thing kind of being dependent on me. <laughs> I have mused with the idea of one day getting a little pug dog, and I would call him Pugsley the Puglet, and he would be a tiny sir, but I don't really like animal fur, so it's probably not gonna happen. <laughs> yeah. Our next question comes from It's Just Katie, who asked, do you have an addiction to a kind of stationery? I think that probably the closest thing that would come to any sort of addiction would just be my love of pens. I like trying new pens and seeing how nicely they write on paper and all of that kind of stuff. The two types of pens that I probably prefer are felt tip and ballpoint, but I don't really use a lot of those in my journal. Our next question comes from Marmonial, who asked, have you tried the French art shop? I feel like I've walked past it a couple of times and kind of mused with the idea of going in but I haven't actually gotten around to going there yet. A place to check out that I should put on my list. Our next question comes from Courtney who asked, do you prefer to upload weekly videos on Monday the week of, or Sunday the day before? Well, for my vlogs at least, I do prefer to post those on a Monday, so the week following the week that the vlog is for. Does that make sense? Just because that gives me a little bit of extra time to edit it, rather than kind of, you know, signing off the vlog at 10pm or whenever, and then having to edit it and upload it all that night. For my regular weekly plan with me's, I typically upload those on Thursday, but I am considering changing that because I'm starting to find that come Thursday evening, I'm really exhausted and I don't really want to sit down and plan in my planner. Not too sure what I'm going to do about that just yet. It might be one of those things where I start posting them on Mondays, but I haven't really given it enough thought. Our next question comes from Jennifer, who asked, How long have you and Bubba been together, and how did you meet? For those of you who don't watch my vlogs, Bubba, Vogel, Vaughn, they're all the same person. It's my partner. I'm really bad at remembering how long we've actually been together. I think it might be seven or eight years. I'll check. <laughs> Yep, so in September it will be eight years that we've been together. We first met back in 2008 though, when I started at the same high school that Vogel was going to. So we were in the same friend group and we took biology together. We went out for a little bit in high school, but that eight years ago thing is since university. So in university we kind of started going out properly. 
Yeah. <laughs> Our next question comes from Butterfly Nez, who asked, how does the craft paper work in terms of colors? Is it something you're going to try or are you planning on leaving it beautifully monochromatic? So as you'll see in this week's setup, and if you watched my monthly plan with me, I have been using colors in my setups now. For the colors, I'm using the Uniball Signo gel pens because they're a lot more opaque, whereas if I tried to use my Tombos, I wouldn't get the vibrancy of the colors that I was looking for. It has been interesting using gel pens though. Gel pens aren't something I really use a lot. I actually intentionally had to go out and buy gel pens so that I could do these setups. Our next question comes from Marlous, who asked, You often mention that you really like having a running to-do slash task list, but you still leave one out quite often. <laughs> Why is that? Probably because I'm a bit of a masochist, it seems. <laughs> the notes section on this layout and my last one kind of doubles as my running task list. It obviously doesn't have as much space as some of the task lists that I usually like. But this month in particular, what I'm trying to make use of is a monthly running task list rather than putting them on my weeklies. I also want to get a bit better at scheduling when I'm going to do things, which is why I'm giving myself less space on each week to write down those running task lists so that then things don't just get kind of pushed to the end of the week. Does that kind of make sense? I am certainly still a fan of the running task list, and I will go back to it every now and then, but at the moment I'm just kind of trying to experiment with having a smaller one or not really using one. I also find that when I include a running task list, I usually end up gravitating towards the same styles of spreads time and time again, but I'm very much the kind of person who likes to try new things. So by leaving one out, I'm more inclined to try different types of layouts. Our next question comes from Janet, who asked, I remember you were going to go traveling, so I wanted to know if you guys managed to reschedule your trip to Korea. Sadly, we haven't been able to reschedule that one just yet. Because things are still so uncertain with air travel and, you know, everything else that's going on in the world. We've kind of just benched that one for now, but Vogel and I are going to be taking a trip away soon. We're going to go up to the Waikato, just for about five days, but it should be a nice little getaway for us. We're still planning to go to Queenstown at some stage, but because flights are really expensive at the moment, because they're running less of them, and yeah, 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 we figured we'd also just bench that one for now and hopefully see about doing it next year. Maybe. If we can. As always, thank you to everybody who left questions on last week's plan with me. If you guys have any questions you'd like me to answer next week, please do leave them in the comments below. Alright, so we have a space for each day of the week, a section for notes, hopefully I use it this time, a space for my top three tasks for the week, and a place to record my breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I'm pretty pleased with how this one turned out, especially my little cell division doodles. And now I'm going to jump off camera and transfer everything from my brain dump into here. Thank you for watching though team, if you liked today's video please do make sure to give it a big thumbs up, and if you wanted to see more from me, feel free to go check out one of my other videos. Until next time, bye!